Hello there and welcome to the new exercise from the workoutwednesday.com where we are in the week 16 and this time I actually take I actually took one week break um, from from all my videos just to spend some time in Goa. So had a had an amazing vacation in Goa and after that I am back with uh, more exercises. So now you will see that I will be uploading my videos frequently. Um, so in this week, we have this charticulator, which is quite interesting. Uh, before actually going to the vacation, I was exploring the charticulator because it's not quite straightforward. So if you have seen some of the tableau charts like uh, this one, which it which is called lollipop chart, you have the um, divergent a histogram you have uh, sort of ranges right all of those things uh, all of those things is something not very straightforward here in this power bi if you remember a few days back this was one of the exercises if i just go back bump chart is what we created right if i go here yeah this is the bump chart if we have created with the help of the dax calculation is also something they have in the charticulator but again, you need to have you know some configuration done. So all in all, Charticulator is to create the advanced charts. So if you see this one, Charticulator is here for advanced chart, right? It has endless possibilities in terms of design and custom formatting. And this is basically a quick and basic overview of, of this chart. So in this video, I will going also I will also going to create this chart, right? Uh, you can connect to Superstore sample data set that is available on data.world. So we will just right click and open that up. If you have seen my previous videos, we have connected multiple times to uh, data.world, right? So that's something what we will going to do. And uh, then we will going to create a chart like this, right? So first thing, so before I go ahead, just uh, a quick information if you have been following that that's like a repeatable information for you but if you have learned it very first time all of these exercises and my videos I am keeping track here if you see along with the video link so I keep my exercises in my one tab this is a live Google sheet this live Google sheet link is present in the description the whole idea is that you should be able to search any of my previously posted videos here with the help of the sheet so the searching become easy. Also, previously I have uh, around 200 videos, right? Uh, or if I would say 199, because first one is I guess the title. Then this is something what you can you can basically easily search, filter by putting a filter because this is a spreadsheet. In a view mode, you can do that. And using the link which is present here in column B, you can jump to that video. All right. With that, let me go back here and uh, connect to this data set so this is the data set if you see we need quick information like this is the username and this is the data set name what we need so what i will going to do is come to the power bi and the power bi i will going to click on the get data and over here more and in the mode i will going to search for data.world so data.world and here i have I will click on connect and it will going to ask me the owner name so owner is this part owner is this and data set is this copy and you have it here on the paste click ok and this should connect you the only thing is if if you are connecting very first time it will ask you to lock in Right, so you need to use your username password or you need to create your login and then you can easily connect it. So here you can see we have orders, peoples and returns. So I'll just select all these three tables. So orders is being previewed. So it's fine. Select people. Fine. Returns. It's okay. Load. So I will just load these three tables. Right. Because it is a sales data set. You have seen it maybe hundreds of times if you have been following mine or other videos or tableau website this is like a very standard and easy to understand data set 
right before moving into a lot of complexities okay so what do we need a chart like this which is a lollipop chart you have the year information over here you have the region information over here and then you have these basically states like california new york texas and so on and so forth right so the whole idea is that it becomes interactive with the help of this circle and line okay so where are my power bi so in power bi you need to first make sure that you are logging into the power bi as i am logged in this is again utilizing your official id so coming over here get more visuals this is not a standard visual so you need to come over here and charticulator is from microsoft so it is certified charticulator there you go this is from microsoft so we can trust it so you have this here is a quick overview create custom and reusable chart right within power bi so a chart like this right sunburst chart you have this sort of bubble chart you have i don't know what what you call but it looks like flower petals and uh, you have this chart which sort of hierarchical kind of a chart you have this again sort of a circle with few more you know uh, variations like bars and all so that's what it is you have uh, you can learn more about certified power visuals you have support over here you have sample instructions and all i will show you quickly how to do that so first thing first we will click on add so once it is added we were going to it will probably going to take a couple of seconds i guess yeah it is processing so once it will be added then i will start showing you this visual was successfully imported into this report click okay select microsoft charticulator and it will show us this basic information if i just expand it for you and reduce this so create unique and customizable chart design without coding right i don't know if you are because it is like so small if i just expand no visual header to start so over here you need to come and you need to click edit right so now this is an edit mode so uh, in edit mode you need to you can click on create chart and you can click on import template so we were going to import template and as you can see it over here this is like the bump chart bubble chart chord diagram radial chart is something what we we'll, we have as an example so but what we need to create is lollipop chart so what i will going to do is to enable import template right uh, first thing first you have click you can click here to see more templates and click okay and this is where you will going to find this chart lollipop chart right and you need to click over here to make sure that you have the template you save the template so you make sure you save the template i have already done that as you can see i have been exploring with that other templates as well so this is something i have done but here you can see lot of different templates that you can bring it inside this is sort of a range chart which i was saying saying bam bam chart this is like navigating again you know lot of different things like pyramid and all all of these pieces so these are like different templates that we have which which we can bring in okay so since i have already brought in the template but i can import the template only when you know uh, this i have some fields so i go to visualization go to the fields and in the fields this is where i have the region i have the state so i have the region right uh i have the state and i have the sales so when i add this you can see the chart create chart or import template is open so i will click on import template for now because i want straightforward easy instruction even for myself when i started with it because if you go right from starting a chart creating from right from the scratch it can go slightly difficult So first thing first is we have downloaded the template so we will double click on the lollipop chart and you have the country like this you have geographic location which is like state 
So in country, we will write, going to write the detailed information, which is state. From state, a higher level information is region, right? In which region the state is. Similarly, in which con uh, so country is present in which um, in which continent. Similarly, state is present in which region. So just trying to make you understand. That's how basically I understood it when I was exploring it first. Sometimes you know you may feel like okay whether I need to add information over here or not. So the way you need to understand it, this is this is the highest level information, right? These are the continents. This is the country. So countries are always inside the continent. Similarly, states will always be inside regions. So a state is like east, west, and all. So you have four region if I am not wrong, and then you have multiple states. I guess twenty eight states if I am not, but I I don't really know the complete count if I am. If I'm wrong over there, and then you have the population. So population is nothing but the sales. So you click on save mapping, right? As soon as you click on save mapping, a chart is created, which is, if you can see, over here is very similar to this, but your uh, legend is over here. You have some filters. You have text. Currently, if I go, you have the population of OECD countries and all, which is like a default template, right? So over here, you click. This is where the glyph is. Glyph is nothing. Basically, it's it's basically some of the properties like you have states over here. So this is what the state is. You have the numbers over here. So you can select this and format it. You can select the circles and then format it. So all of this thing is quite quite straightforward. Uh, if I, you know, collapse it, you have this title. If I select the title, you can see the side title is selected over here, and its related attributes or the properties are present here. So we we can change it sales by state, right? You can change the font, you can change the size. You have something which is conditioned by I think it is it is like conditional thing which I am not covering it right now. Where do you want to have it? Anchor X, anchor Y. Right, so it's in the middle, so it's it's at a good location. The only thing, if you may want to add, is probably increase the size if you want. Right, margin, rotation, style, color, lot of basically properties which is present over here that you can uh, that you can basically change. Okay, now I need to bring this over here. So what I can do is I can bring this down so I can get some space. This is this is where it becomes tricky. You know, this is basically your guides. Guides are present here if you want to create more, but some defaults are present over here. I'll press Escape. So this is if you put your mouse over here, drag it up and down, and it will change it accordingly. Okay. Now, you know, uh, give a focus over here. When I need to bring this, I select this, right, and I can bring. I need to bring it over here, but this. Is basically the green circle. If you can see, I don't know if for this, if I just click outside, the circle is gone, right? If I select this, this is sort of a green circle. Circle is coming. This is what you need to drag over here. Otherwise, it will not come. So this is something after multiple back and forth, I understood it. But now it is coming over here, right? Down there, it should be over here. So the way we need to do it, we need to come over here in guide. You need to click on guide by, and you need to place it wherever you want to have the component. So I want to have, let's say, component over here. I select this, and I put it over here. So now it's over there. It's it has moved up. So this these are basically the guides uh, that needs to be present for the movement of components. Okay. Now if I go over here in legends, as you can see, legend is selected over here. Right, I can select the center alignment, and I can make the orient orientation as horizontal. So now it is changed, right? So we are reaching it over there. Uh, the la couple of things, if you would see over here, is even though they have decimals, let's say, but if you want to change the decimal. Um, there you go. If you want to change the decimal, this is quite interesting actually. In Glyph, if you click over here, 
to format the number let's say removing the decimal adding the dollar sign which is not part of the uh, exercise but still you can do that change this change this uh, layer um, in layer you have this title just select it over here cliff and i will just select for this one general in attributes general 0.1 f this means decimal right so first thing first is make it zero if i press tab your decimals are removed right similarly if i just again come over here to add the dollar sign i will add dollar 0, 0.0 f and press tab and this will now have the dollar right so this is something which is quite interesting is present as part of uh, of the formatting generally you would be exploring so i did that exploration for myself so that i can save the time for you right whatever formatting you want and after that uh, once you are done you can click on save right and you can click on back to report so this is where your report is coming and as you can see the text are quite clumsy right and this is also you know not making a whole lot of good impression so for that again we can do some little bit of formatting so the way we can do this again we have gone over there right i am selecting this and i am increasing the uh, as you can see if i just go further so this is something i can increase a little bit um i can select this right illinois so when i select this this is basically a property for everything and over here you have the state and i can reduce it to let's say eight right so that it's it's quite visible um size is fine and we can check that save back to report so at least a little bit better than that right uh what we were seeing earlier but again your numbers here also it's quite big so that's the kind of back and forth little bit require when you are working with the chart calculator so if i select this and uh, i go down and where is if it is gone you need to zoom a little bit you need to work with that Arial, I think ten is okay. Similarly, I believe for this I will change this to ten. I think that should be okay. I can make this up a little bit. This is also I think is not movable. Okay, it is movable because it is text. And I don't know if I can if I try to move this up this down no yeah so that's that's a kind of little bit of setting so what i can do is i can add one more guide over here right and then i can move it till here now it is moved as you can see i'm just trying to create some more space that's that's all what i'm just trying to do so now you have this i can bring it down over here okay so you can see it is gone sometimes you can experience that you can click on back to report but you will see that little bit some improvement is coming go to again edit and then basically do the experimentation as as i am doing to make the report but that's the whole idea as to how you can basically do this piece right right now the values are way too much that's why it is slightly um, challenging over here if i go over here this is this is coming as uh, also slightly clumsy as you can see little bit of formatting is required which i think i need to do it with text i did it looks like it is not saved that's the only challenge yeah it is not saved clearly so make sure you save it yeah it is 14 again 10 is fine click on save and back to report so now it is saved right and then i think what they have added is a slicer 
So I am adding a slicer. We have the order date in hierarchy. I will add the year and I will change this to list. And this is something what you can do. Uh, I think as an orientation slicer setting orientation from vertical to horizontal right and that is a piece of art then <laughs> okay so where has it gone yeah here you go and up it little bit okay and you can bring it over here all right so we have this we have selected this so let me just select it sometimes it acts weird because as you can see it's quite a problem child when it comes to a little bit of so that's how basically you can create it right and uh, utilize your basically charticulator okay so that's mainly i wanted to show you let me know how did you find this and i think it has opened up a lot of capabilities in terms of what you can do if you want to hide this right uh, you can come over here in visualization and uh, select this visualization in general remove the title i believe there you go okay so that way you can have more visualization along with this and it will work fine with all the slices and settings that is needed so that's mainly i wanted to show in this video how you can do this and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic